understanding the biblical term of prodigious it is a analogy of a gift of the holy spirit having a like mind of jesus christ and in jesus christ like minded with the father which is the holy spirit the throne of david wiglaf i believe is the last name i've searched and found to be wiglaf i said waglaf wiglaf is the name but the the great coming of the virgin mother mary which is above all else and ordained as the virgin and perfect in the sight of god for the um, the birth of the messiah which is one who is like minded with christ in some scriptures it says that the thief and the thief and the thief jesus was put to a cross so it in a analogy the thief tax collector Matthew who also was known as Levi and Levi also known as Judah is the said um, prodigious light in Mary who was to give conception to the Messiah or Jesus Christ give conception to Jesus Christ who was to explain the Messiah However the case I explained that Jesus Christ comes down in the flesh they say it's a second coming and the Messiah is to uh, speak great truths of wisdom knowledge and understanding and warn the people of their ways they have already been warned in the beginning to not be like them and we as understanding nature's growth before adam and eve understanding nature's growth and the dark world given light to it and nature's growth and the darkness raised up in it and their growth with nature and eventually uh Something took place in a hell when the world was still clouded with the clouds or the smoke or the uh, the dragons of the smoke or the dra the dragons that laid the foundation. No one can actually be fully certain exactly how this world was founded. It just says. Uh, bluntly that the world was founded in a manner we don't know each and every step that god took but if you look into the world it is intricately made so the church which is the inheritance of the land the church the true church the true vine the true messiah the true jesus not the vain glories of the dark churches um that God had warned us about do not be like them don't defile yourself and and in defile yourself by practicing law of war and using the Lord's name in vain sacrificing his name while he lives within through all of the covenants don't practice defiling yourself and in doing so, God seeing nothing but children of the covenants, nothing but children of small little babies that still crawl on his belly. Like it reads, I will make you like every creepy crawly thing on his belly because of what you have done in Adam and Eve when they had consummated uh, childbirth and created world conflict. So Delphi the oracle being the, the python in the true vine of the tree of Judah known as Levi where Jesus comes down and speaks in the flesh great wisdom knowledge and understanding the true vine is every creepy crawly thing on his belly even 
little children still not knowing who they are, still up in the stars, still in the clouds where hell sanctuary is, born through death, the chains of Hades, the chains of King David, the Holy Ghost, Hades, where, where the shoes of gospel and the breastplate of righteousness and the helmet of salvation, both wicked and good and bad and ugly, all kinds of triumphs to overcome, but, and the, the sword of light that sees through the darkness and uh, the belt of truth, where the, the bag of uh, them who are found worthy by God to tithe the land, which is the inheritance for the uh, purity able to rise up into heaven where the stars are. God throws down that that cloud of truth and what we do with it to purify it with the archangel is what we do with it. However, Mary, above all else, the crown of the virgin with the, the son, the Holy Ghost, and the father, the penis fish, Xerxes, the mandrake, and King David Wagliff with the griffin bird that eats the children or um, the penis fish per se um, eats the children for purity or for the God loves all things he even loves law for the a righteous law for the correction the rebuke and the correction of self where inner self where true judgment is um, whether you choose to uh, correct yourself, if it is the hold on a second, if it is the the calling of the people who had sacrificed and offered to the Lord for a great speaker or a great coming of a Messiah or a great wisdom and knowledge, whatever whatever they had uh, the church's baptisms that has no salvation, they're filthy rich in. Um, defiled by the law and war and the moral of idle waste and practicing law with that and in the in the certain certainty of what um, how to overcome when only the strong survives that's how that, there's no other way to put it the people love the idols on TV not a worthy opponent to fight other than speaking wisdom. However the case, above all else, in the, in the trials and tribulations that are said that takes place in uh, the coming of the Messiah, the one who comes and warns everybody of their ways by not a threat, unless the, the threat itself is widely studied in a Bible written by other prophets. The blood guilt of the names in the Book of Life is a um, trial and test itself. However, it does not necessarily mean that the people have control over that when they sacrifice as an offering when you make yourself known to be something that was favored by God especially to a church they they, uh, they conform to offer and an offering that um, is said to be wise to win the spirits I can't say that they necessarily have a choice to offer however in the in the offering we are faced with many people's prayers whether it be naturally against you or for you whatever the case most likely in a vain glory which is uh, the lord's name being sacrificed it is not for you however um the crown of mary is with the Messiah and Jesus and the prodigious light which is a everlasting life in the inheritance of the land with the many 
abominations there come. Do not trust divination.